the mists have rolled in on the South Devon coast and with it, the beginnings of winter. Neptune, named after the Roman god of the sea, is turning direct this month, allowing us to free ourselves of illusion. The animals are feeling the winter, but they're also loving their treats. The fog reminds me of the steamy month we're gonna have this month with a four planet stellium in Scorpio. It's gonna be intense. And the good news is that the planets are giving us two grand fire trines this month. So we'll be warm in our spirit and able to leap forward and accomplish our dreams. Gemini, this month is a game of two halves. At the beginning of the month, you're feeling that you wanna be quite within yourself to reflect on things, to make sure you're making the right decisions. Now your leader Mercury is in quite a cheerful little position for you. There are other things going on, not least of which a full moon in your position of kind of the deeper, more spiritual, more emotional place, which for you is sometimes uncomfortable. You like to run away from your emotions. You don't necessarily own your emotions. You could bury yourself in, in, in your intellect, but this full moon is making you feel quite emotional and making you feel maybe even sometimes a little bit paranoid. So you have to kind of really sit with emotions that may be uncomfortable because all of this in the first two weeks is giving you the key to opening up to being much happier on a deeper level and have much more sense of security and balance. And you've got this kind of emotional and spiritual calling, but because you're not usually as reflective on your emotions as you could be, you have to really pay attention to see exactly where you're being called to and exactly what you need to change and tinker with to be able to take advantage of this great revelation that's coming. Although the, the full moon should give you quite a categoric sign when that occurs. <laughs> So from the 13th onwards, you have an incredible ability to be very self-disciplined. Perhaps you haven't been doing the little things that you need to do or taking care of the details in your life. Suddenly you're overwhelmed with the need to look after yourself, to take care of your body, your mind, your spirit and your soul and to find some balance there. But you're also very focused on your career. And Neptune is going direct. It has been going backwards and you may have been kind of wistfully thinking about all the dreams you've had connected to your career in the past. And you may have been thinking, what is my spiritual calling when it comes to my career? The good news is Neptune is giving you a shove forward and you're able to see a whole brand new dream and idea and calling from the, your very soul, actually. It's very, very deep and profound stuff. particularly around the 17th, thanks to your ruler doing a little fandango with Jupiter, that you're not critical of yourself or other people, actually. It may be that you feel if you can like control something within yourself or other people, that's when you're gonna get the good luck you need. That's when you're gonna get the breakthrough. That could be an illusion. You know, when we criticize ourselves or other people, it, can, it restricts us, actually. If you love yourself, support yourself through any changes that you need to make, and Jupiter will be back on side. There's a Mercury and Saturn conjunction and a four planet stellium in an energy for you, which is about desiring structure. Not normally something you necessarily do desire, but right now it's like you want to really get everything sorted out. You want everything to be practical and to make sense and something even steady so that you know where you stand. Then we move on to the next phase because you feel more secure where you're drawn to beauty and creativity and you start to blossom, you start to unfurl. You have the potential then, because you've dealt with all this stuff that's been probably bugging you for ages, to really get to the heart of what you're good at. And that is being a visionary, being a creative, being a fantastic communicator. <music> We have two grand fire trines towards the end of the month. And this is like galvanizing you into action. 
you are feeling full of energy and you really want to collaborate with people that have your vision, you can actually do something really important in the world. You've got something to say. You will hook up with and draw to you other people who have something to say. If that isn't your normal cup of tea, I highly recommend that you find out what it is that interests you, what it is that you want to put into the world to bring about a shift, either in, even if it's just in your life, other people's lives, or the wider good. Because these fire trines are really drawing towards you like a magnet, the right people for you to get to know. And it's important that if you sense people are the wrong people, that you step away. Because the rest of the month is a great healing for you when it comes to the people that you should have in your life, the people that are healthy, the people that are empowering, versus the people that drag you down or may just be an old pattern. There is revelation and there is revolution in your connection with people towards the end of the month. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. If you enjoyed this, there's loads of other free astrology readings and tarot readings on my website, www.michellenight.com. Come and join me there.